Mother Teresa was born as Anjaze Gongshe Boyakshu on August 26, 1910, in Skopje, then part of the Ottoman Empire, now the capital of North Macedonia. She was the youngest of three children in an Albanian family. Her father, Nikola Boyakshu, was a successful businessman, and her mother, Drana Fila Boyakshu, was a deeply religious woman who instilled in her children the values of charity and faith. From a young age, Anjaze was fascinated by stories of missionaries and their service. At the age of 12, she felt a strong call towards a religious life and decided she wanted to become a missionary. At the age of 18, Anjaze left her home and joined the Sisters of Laredo, an Irish community of nuns with missions in India. She first went to the Laredo Abbey in Rathfarnham, Ireland, to learn English, the language the Sisters of Laredo used to teach school children in India. In 1929, she arrived in India and began her novitiate in Darjeeling, near the Himalayas. Here, she took her first religious vows as a nun in 1931 and chose the name Teresa after Thérèse de Lisieux, the patron saint of missionaries. Mother Teresa was assigned to teach at St. Mary's High School for Girls in Kolkata, Calcutta, a school run by the Laredo Sisters where she taught history and geography with dedication for nearly 20 years. In 1937, she took her final profession of vows to a life of poverty, chastity, and obedience. As was the custom for Laredo nuns, she took on the title Mother and became known as Mother Teresa. In 1946, during a train ride from Calcutta to the Himalayan foothills, Mother Teresa experienced what she later described as the call within a call. She felt a deep urge to leave the convent and help the poorest of the poor while living among them. It took nearly two years of preparation and seeking permission from her superiors before she could leave the Laredo convent. In 1948, she received permission from the Vatican to pursue this new calling. Mother Teresa left the convent and adopted a simple white cotton sari with a blue border which would later become the iconic attire of the missionaries of charity. She became an Indian citizen and started her missionary work with the poor in the slums of Calcutta. She opened her first school in the slums to teach the children of the poor. Her mission quickly attracted both volunteer nuns and financial support, allowing her to expand her efforts. In 1950, Mother Teresa founded the Missionaries of Charity, a religious congregation dedicated to serving the hungry, the naked, the homeless, the crippled, the blind, the lepers, all those people who feel unwanted, unloved, uncared for throughout society, people that have become a burden to the society and are shunned by everyone. The missionaries of charity grew rapidly, opening hospices, orphanages, and leper houses across India and then around the world. By the 1960s, they had established missions in numerous countries, providing care to the sick and dying. Mother Teresa received several awards for her humanitarian work, including the Nobel Peace Prize in 1979. She accepted the award on behalf of the unwanted, unloved, and uncared for, and used the prize money to fund her work with the poor. Despite health problems, including a heart attack in 1983 and another in 1989, she continued her work. She stepped down as head of the Missionaries of Charity in 1997 but continued to be involved in its activities. Mother Teresa passed away on September 5, 1997, in Calcutta. At the time of her death, the Missionaries of Charity had over 4,000 sisters and was operating 610 missions in 123 countries. In 2003, Mother Teresa was beatified by Pope John Paul II, a significant step towards sainthood. She was canonized as St. Teresa of Calcutta by Pope Francis on September 4, 2016. Mother Teresa's life and work continue to inspire millions around the world. Her order, the Missionaries of Charity, remains active, continuing her mission of serving the poorest of the poor. Her work has also faced criticism regarding the quality of care in her homes and her views on issues like abortion and contraception. However, her legacy of compassion and service remains predominant. The missionaries of charity continue to grow and adapt, addressing modern challenges 
while maintaining the mission and values established by Mother Teresa. Her life is a testament to the power of faith, compassion, and unwavering dedication to helping those in need, making her one of the most revered figures in modern history.